Hey, watch lovers, Brad at Brennan Miller, and today I have for us Attack Hewer. This is another one of the uh, Heritage Octavias. I think I mentioned a couple weeks ago when I was reviewing one on a black leather strap with some red accents how much I liked it. Uh, this one's sitting beside it in the case, uh, directly beside it in the case. And I have to admit, as a watch enthusiast, gang, I have failed you. I did not realize this was a limited edition. I did not realize this was the uh, Jack Hewer 85th uh, birthday limited edition. So, um, shame on me for not knowing that and uh, figured out it was time for me to share. This is a discontinued model with tag. Um, so, it, it's been out for a little while. Again, still still in stock with us. So, let's get uh, some of the, the uh, dimensions out of the way here. So, I measured straight across this aluminum bezel. 42.5 millimeters, so it's listed at 42. I measured it a little bit larger than that. 15.6 um, millimeters thick, 50.3 millimeters from lug tip to lug tip. We have a 21 millimeter lug width. I actually measured it like 21.2, so I'm assuming it's really a 21 millimeter fit. Uh, 100 meters of water resistance, and this is using the uh, tag caliber H02, the Hewer 02 movement with an 80 hour power reserve. Um, I, I do like this movement on the other video. I was, I just, I like the aesthetics of the movement and how it looks, the skeletonized rotor. Obviously with this one here, we have a stainless steel case back. Um, Jack Hewer 85th birthday edition, limited edition of 1,932 pieces. So um, a lot of polishing. Uh, if you like polish, you're gonna like this watch. Um, you know, the case here, um, Everything pretty high polished. Obviously the bracelet high polish. We have a bi-directional rotating bezel. Great silver dial. Um, really, like I said, like the sunburst effect is sharp. Texture on the subdials looks really great. The white subdial hands really contrast or easy legibility on the uh, the black subdials. Overall, just a really clean, clean, good looking design in my opinion. Um, deployment buckle, I should have showed that earlier, I apologize. Nice clasp. If you know anyone looking for one of these, we still have one. Feel free to shoot me an email, brad at brentlmiller.com. Uh, if there's a watch you want to see, a video you want me to do, let me know. Uh, I'm more than happy to help you guys out. Thanks for watching. Oh, and if you want to see how this wears on my six and three quarter inch wrist, there's always the link in the description to our Instagram page where you can check that out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.